All right, hey collective, I'm back on here to come give you guys a general spread for today. Remember the spread that I'm pulling here for you guys is timeless, it's also general. So I need you guys to only accept the message if it's for you, if it's not, leave it for the next person. Also, don't forget to hit the like or the subscribe button if you haven't already, come join me so we can grow the energy over here for you guys, all right? So we're gonna jump into this here energy and I need for you guys to please tap into your intuition, only receive the message if you know it's for you, all right? So the first card of flaw here is we have the Divine Feminine card. All right, we have the timeline shift and we have you broke the curse. So for a lot of you divine feminists, I definitely feel like there has been some form of timeline shift that happened with a lot of you divine feminists, all right? It's something significant about you guys breaking some form of generational curse, okay? And this could be around you guys purifying your energy, okay? Um, and the song that's playing for a lot of you divine feminists, me, myself, and I. So some of you guys could have been like on some form of self-love journey is what I'm picking up, okay? It's all about you guys purifying your energy, but for a lot of you guys by you doing this has broken some form of generational curse and like I said it allows some form of timeline shift to happen here okay because a lot of you guys you went through some form of radical transformation here all right um, for a lot of you divine feminists you definitely went through some type of phoenix rising here all right whatever this was for a lot of you guys like I said it allowed you guys to shift the timeline in some form of way okay um, for a lot of you divine feminists so we have the cycle ending okay so it is a cycle that's in and out we have five 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 change just here okay so something is definitely changing for a lot of you divine feminists all right because a cycle is done all right um we have to clear your energy so something about you guys please clear out your energy right now because there is some form of ending of a cycle um for a lot of you guys and something new is starting okay so make sure you guys are clearing out your energy all right because for a lot of you divine feminists you have self-mastered protecting whatever this is for a lot of you guys your energy by you protecting your energy allows you guys to purify your energy it also also allow some form of transformation to take place okay all right so you guys have self mastered something significant about protecting your energy and knowing your worth here okay like I said the song that's playing is me myself and I so it's something about you guys being focused on self okay and I feel like this is what brought in some form of like transformation okay so we have angel number five 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 out here again change is definitely happening I feel like a lot of you divine feminists definitely could be seeing five 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 a lot okay all right we have the most high is guiding okay so the Most High is guiding a lot of you divine feminists right now to please clear your energy and ground your energy, okay? Because a lot of you guys are calling back your energy right now from a karmic mother or mother figure, okay? So for a lot of you guys, there's something significant about you guys had to, like I said, um, purify your energy to call back your um, your um, energy from a karmic mother or mother figure. I'm also hearing for a lot of you guys a karmic family, all right? So something about you guys going on this self-love journey, okay? All about yourself here is what I'm picking up allowed you guys to call back your energy all right make sure you guys are saging also okay make sure you guys are saging um to cleanse out your energy cleanse out your home because i feel like whoever this karmic mother or mother figure is could be projecting some form of illusions and that's because the tables have turned okay on whatever this is for a lot of you guys the interferences i'm hearing the blockages okay um and we have the blockages card like i said the tables have turned on whatever this karmic mother has been trying to do okay for a lot of you guys and it's something significant about you guys getting back to yourself all right, for a lot of you divine feminists. So I feel like you guys have a karmic mother that's very upset right now that you guys are back-centered here. It's what I'm picking up. So this mother could be projecting some type of illusions here um, because this balance being restored around a lot of you guys, okay? You did some form of, like, purifying of your energy, some form of healing that allows some form of balance to come back in for a lot of you guys. You have a karmic mother um, for a lot of you guys. I'm picking up karmic family that's very upset about this, okay? Um, whatever it is that they're, they're trying to do, though you're being protected okay we have the jade crystal card that flew out here so with something about you guys is confidence that i feel like this mother is projecting towards okay a lot of you divine feminists have definitely gained back your confidence okay around whatever this phoenix rising i feel like it brought back your you guys is confidence okay because it's all about you guys getting back to yourself all right. I feel like a lot of you divine feminists are getting back to your confident self here. You have a karmic mother or mother figure that's very upset about this. It's something significant about trying to interfere with you guys' confidence. Um, but something's not going to work here. Make sure you guys are working with your jade crystal, okay, um, for a lot of you guys. And this could be something significant around the healing work, okay? 
okay? 444 on the clock, you're being protected, okay? Um, for a lot of you divine feminines. Now, this could be a mother trying to interfere with some form of healing work that you're doing or, or you have done on yourself here. But whatever it is that this uh, this karmic mother's trying to do, you're being protected from it, okay? It's something significant about you guys have a... Um, karmic mother or mother figure that's very upset that you guys are getting back to who you truly are okay for a lot of you guys it's something around um you guys could have lost your confidence um in something for a lot of you guys this could have been around anything all right something where you guys lost your lost your confidence and i feel like you guys had to go through some type of transformation to gain that back here okay all right so it has definitely been like a timeline shift with a lot of you guys okay because you broke some form of curse um for a lot of you um and like I said, it's all about you guys purifying your energy. Some of you divine feminists could be celibate here, okay? All right? Um, so some additional messages we pulled out here was we have the letter C-E-K-L, all right? R-Y-B-G could be significant here. We have the separation card that flew out here. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, if this is some something significant about you guys, uh, a lot of you divine feminists, you could have went through some type of separation. And that's because I feel like a lot of you divine feminists was not ready, okay? Um, for a union for a lot of you guys. It's something about your confidence that you guys had to build up here first. So for a lot of you guys, this could be some form of separation um, that you were in. I feel like you guys could be coming back into union, but it's something about you guys had to separate to heal. Okay. All right. So we have to connect with ancestors card that flew out here. So something about you guys, make sure you guys are grounding your energy. Make sure you guys are connected with your ancestors. All right. Um, we have the spiritual evolution. So I definitely feel like a lot of you divine feminists went through some type of like spiritual evolution, something about free freedom here okay that i feel like a lot of you guys are definitely gaining okay mentally physically emotionally it's like some form of freedom coming in around whatever this peer and find of your energy was okay um we have the money spells card to flow out here so this whoever this karmic mother or mother figure is karmic family they could be trying to do money spells on you okay we have the jealous brother so this could be a karmic brother here we have the solar plexus card that flew out here so like i said something significant about your confidence here i'm also hearing for a lot of you guys something significant about beauty spells here make sure you guys are working on your solar plexus here okay also i want to tell some of you guys your sacral chakra Okay, um, make sure you guys are working on that. We have the letter H, all right? First, middle, last name, initials. That could be significant here, all right? Yours or someone involved here. But just know that a cycle is in and out. Make sure you guys are clearing out your energy, okay? Because whatever this situation was with this karmic mother, karmic family, that situation is over with. A lot of you guys could be seeing 1010 a lot, okay? Just know change is coming in, all right? Now it's all about you guys. Please clear out your energy, okay? Um, because I feel like this mother could be still trying to... Um, um, project something towards a lot of you divine finish your confidence but it won't work here see we have the level up here okay and that's because you guys know your worth okay I can't make the cards up a lot of you guys are leveling up here because it's something about you guys had to go through some type of transformation where you guys had to know your worth okay for a lot of you guys this is why some form of separation definitely took place also here okay all right Number 14 could be significant. Um, some of you guys could be 39 years of age, okay? Could be significant here. All right, what's this level up in worthiness? All right. Let's see, for my divine feminine here, all right? We have the good juju, okay? So it is some form of good energy coming in for a lot of you guys. You could be a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, that I'm speaking to because the um, the level up card and a good juju both are fire signs um, energies here okay I'm gonna have to check up with that or uh, worth in this one all right but I definitely know these two are fire signs here but you guys definitely got some form of good energy coming in number seven could be significant here all right let's see yeah for a lot of you guys Something good is definitely coming in. All right, what else we can get out here? What's this good juju here? For my uh, divine feminist. Because you guys went through a radical rebirth, okay? You went through a radical transformation for a lot of you guys. All right, this is flew underneath level up. This is why you guys are elevating here, okay? Let's see what else we can get out here. All right. What's this radical rebirth here? 
This could be because of you guys' intuition here, okay? So a lot of you guys could be elevating um, when it comes to your spiritual gift. You could have received the spiritual upgrade also for a lot of you guys by you purifying your energy, all right? But we have the giving and receiving, all right? I feel like a lot of you divine feminines are definitely going to be in this giving and receiving, all right? So something about you guys, please ground your energy, all right? Because something is over with where I feel like you guys were definitely closed off because of something here, all right? So a lot of you guys, like I said, are about to be stepping in some form of giving and receiving energy. Number 10 could be significant. You could be 35 years of age, all right? Some of you guys could be born in May, the 5th of the month, the 10th of the month, the 7th of the month, okay? All right, what's this giving and receiving? We have the miracles, okay? So something definitely is coming in. You could be 42 years of age here, all right? This could be a manifestation. And what I tell y'all, we have ground grounding, okay? Make sure you guys are grounding your energy, all right? All right? Hold on for a second, you guys. All right, Divine Feminists, I'm back. I'm sorry, you guys, okay? So like I was saying for a lot of you guys, you're about to receive some form of manifestation, okay, for a lot of you guys because you, like I said, just something about you guys purifying your energy. We also have shine at the uh, top of this card, and we have awakening, okay? So a lot of you guys definitely went through some type of transformation, some form of awakening here. So it's something about you guys that are definitely about to step in some form of like star energy is what I'm picking up from this shine card here, all right? Number 40 could be significant. You could be 42 years of age. You could be um, 32 here, okay? All right? Born on the 9th of a month, okay? September here, okay? March is when I'm picking up a lot of you guys. But something definitely is changing here, okay? All right? So we're going to pull from the... Um, we're going to pull from the spiritual evolution deck and see what it is that you guys have done here, okay? That was too many, all right? Yeah, a lot of you guys definitely are, we have intuition, wisdom, and look, we have the awakening that flew out in this deck here. Yeah. So a lot of you guys, this could be like some form of spiritual upgrade that you guys are receiving, all right, because you broke some form of generational curse. Um, like I said, you guys are awakening here. You went through some type of radical transformation. It's allowing you guys to expand or some form of expansion is coming in, okay? All right, for a lot of you guys. Yeah, you guys are about to level up in some form of way. Make sure you guys are clearing out your energy because it's a lot of new things that's coming in here, okay? So let's see what else you um you guys have did here, okay? Oh. So let's see what else can be coming in or what type of, um what have you guys broke here, okay? We have partnerships and support, all right? So you guys could definitely have some form of like, um, partnership coming in okay i'm also here for a lot of you divine feminists something about you guys meeting your soul tribe here okay all right something about people you can trust here so we have the betrayal revealed so for a lot of you guys it, this could have been some like form of betrayal revealed regarding a karmic mother here um for a lot of you guys mm. and we have the sacrifice card that flew out here okay all right so um, it could have been something revealed about um, some form of sacrifice here. But we have the reclaim underneath there. It's like you guys are reclaiming your power right now. All right. Reclaiming your energy because something has been exposed here. Now, for a lot of you guys, the, the cards flew out here. It could have been some form of like um, sacrifice. Okay. That has been um, revealed here. Okay. For a lot of you divine feminines. All right. So let's see what else. <clears throat> so we have, look, we have this time to evolve. Yeah, it's something about you guys about to elevate here, okay? Something is over with. A situation is over. Um, with with the, whatever this karmic mother been doing, all right? Something also about y'all creativity here, all right? <sighs> creativity, yeah. So for a lot of you guys, there's something significant about you or something about your creativity could be expanding here, all right? I feel like a lot of things are about to take place, okay, for a lot of you divine feminists because you guys ended out something here, okay, all right, all right, definitely by, like I said, purifying your energy, um, and we have the better boundaries here, yeah, it's something about you guys setting bo um, boundaries here, okay, knowing your worth and setting boundaries, okay, communicating 
for a lot of you guys these boundaries here whatever this was allowed you guys to purify yourself here all right so let's see what else we have we have the stuck energy in reverse so for a lot of you guys something significant was keeping you stuck here i feel like a lot of you guys are coming out of that stuck energy okay you guys are coming into alignment to something right now all right something is over with okay like i said for a lot of you guys something has been revealed here okay so let's see we're gonna get some zodiacs out here let's see what zodiacs we have fire aries leo sag here <clears throat> we have capricorn we have an aquarius here we have libra to be significant we have sagittarius in reverse we have aries in the upright we have fire again 23 23 could be significant we have water in reverse excuse me so let's see what else we can get we have air gemini leave aquarius so we're gonna get one more out here all right so we have earth towards virgo capricorn that could be significant for a lot of you guys all right um but like i said for a lot of you guys something is over with i feel like a lot of you guys like i said it's some form of new energy coming in okay you have cleared out some some form of old energy okay um, for a lot of you guys, some form of clearing that you get, you guys did. So it's something like new energy coming in, okay? And whatever this new energy is, I feel like it's going to be good energy for a lot of you guys, okay? Very good, okay? Something significant about what a karmic mother or mother figure been trying to do um, for a lot of you guys. Something significant about trying to sacrifice you guys energetically is what I'm picking up here. It backfired here. All right. And I feel like this this karmic mother could be projecting some form of illusions because something is over with. But just know that you guys are being protected here. OK, from whatever this is, we're going to pull one more out here. See what else. So we have material and spiritual prosperity. OK, so this could be some form of um, material um, level up. This could be a spiritual level up. It could be anything. OK, let's see what else we got. Right, so we have the and that's because you guys are no longer trapped in fear. Okay, I feel like whatever this was that was going on with a lot of you guys is something about you guys were in some type of fear energy. You you guys are not trapped in fear, okay? For a lot of you guys. So it's something significant about something definitely is taking place for a lot of you guys here. Alright, we have the deception and envy. I'm definitely picking up this is this is what has been um revealed here and we have the temptation in reverse yeah it's something about you guys purifying your energy it's something about lustful energy here okay something about you guys not dealing with any temptation you protecting your energy all right that's what i'm picking up for a lot of you guys like i said i'm picking up a lot of you divine feminists could be like um celibate okay this will allow you guys to purify this energy here okay yeah right so that's what i have for you divine feminists make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel i will speak with you guys in a minute and i love y'all so much bye